My name is Levi Comstock from Diamond Code Epoxy, and I'm going to do my best to try to explain to you guys who we are today, what our focus is, and where we came from. When I got out of the Marines in 2006, I started doing construction, and I started out by installing tile, and I started a granite installation company. That quickly grew into some commercial and residential stuff that I did a lot of larger jobs and larger square footage. It took me a few years to start getting into the higher end trades and finishes. And then I started really running into problems that customers had and they were always looking for solutions and there was nobody on the market to solve them. So I started solving some problems with concrete countertops, but those, those had a lot of limitations. People kind of liked the idea of concrete, but they stained easily, fractured easily, and just had a ton of little issues as, as well as the overlays they would attract moisture fail around the sinks and whatnot. And I just didn't want to put my name on something where it was going to have a lot of warranty callback and issues in the future. I had played around with some epoxy and I'd figured out how to mix some colors with it, talking back and forth to a chemist I had worked with somewhat. And I did figure out how to make a nice countertop solution. Once I had created what I viewed as a pretty all-encompassing solution for countertops, I took it to World of Concrete and I tried to target the three largest companies that I had worked with in the past and two of them that I bought a lot of products from. And they'd always offered to manufacture stuff on the side. None of the three were, had any interest at all. And they told me that pouring epoxy was never to be decorative in and of itself. It was just to cover something decorative and that this would never be a thing. So I went home, sold most of what I had, um, hired a chemist and started trying to manufacture what I already believed in. And fast forward a few years, it got more exciting because then we could afford to pay a chemist and a new chemist to actually start working on outdoor projects that really expanded our horizons. It enabled us to get into a lot of jobs where just nobody else was even invited. And that got kind of exciting. It gave me the need to really have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the chemist that worked for us so that we could constantly modify things so we could actually solve people's problems. And it proved to be very profitable. And a lot of these systems, like the countertop product now, I believe we've modified it around 26 or 27 times. It's always valuable. You run into new little issues and problems and we go back to the drawing board and see if we can take care of it. I really got tired of a lot of the companies in the industry just saying either, no, you can't do it, or yes, you can kind of do it, but the edges won't look good and these are your limiting factors. I knew that if they just spent the time, the money, and if they had the knowledge on how to test properly, they could have created a lot of these finishes. And I guess due to necessity, I had, I had the customers in front of me I believed I could bring. I just started working as hard as I could to try to develop the actual coatings. And since then, um, we've made some exciting things. Some have really took off, some have not. It's constant to try to find a customer's need, a customer's problem, and bring them a solution. And that's kind of what we've focused on here. And since we brought some more technology into Diamond Coat, we've been able to create way higher end outdoor flooring products that can deal with thermal shock, thermal expansion and contraction, hydrostatic vapor, as well as pool coatings, tub coatings, wall epoxies. And it's been very fun that instead of having one or two types of resin that we're trying to find ways to apply to different surfaces. We actually have very purpose-built resins so that they can warranty well and reflect well on us, our installers around the world. And since we started in about 2010 now, we've been able to train about 5,000 people on our products worldwide. Um, we have dealers in about 28 countries right now. I've trained dealerships in about 20 of them myself. And the relationship we have with people around the world and contractors especially has really been key to us in improving our products and processes and how we just respond and relate to people as a company. So we look forward to the future. It's exciting and we hope that Diamond Coat will always be the one solving your guys' problems.